my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So we've had a look at fonts that can be kerned automatically, but not all fonts are available to be kerned, which means that you have to manually space them. So if we open up our text box, I'm going to switch my kerned fonts off and I'm going to search for the Cricut font Alexis Matox because I know that that is not a kernable font but it is a font that does need a little bit of work so I'm going to select that one and we're just going to write our text and we can see that this is a scripted font so all of our letters are meant to flow but at the moment we've got quite dramatic spacing. So I'm going to duplicate this and the first thing we're going to try and do is work with the letter spacing. So with the letter spacing we can actually reduce the spacing down. Now depending on the font sometimes this will work really well and other times not so well. So if we look here we can see that the A and the C are flowing nicely into each other but the P is too close to the A. The C is not close enough to the I, the I is not close enough to the N and the N is miles away from the G. So the letter spacing will not work with this font. We've got two ways we can ungroup. We can either go advanced and ungroup to letters or we can go to our layers panel and select ungroup. Now when we select ungroup our letters become individual. So what we can do then is I always use the arrow key on my keyboard to actually move my letters to where they need to be. I'm going to leave that P where it is but I am just going to move that S just a little bit closer. Now if I just leave this as it is and we go to make it, you'll see because I've ungrouped those letters now are individual and all over the place on my mat. If we just change this to a pen you can see where they overlap. Now if I, now if I just attach those, whilst it will now cut my letters as you see them what it will also do is cut the overlaps as well so if we go to make it this time you can see that whilst our word is exactly as we want it we're going to have all of these cuts so this time what we're going to do is actually weld it and when we weld it our letters take on each other. So anytime letters are overlapping, you need to weld them. We're going to change that back to a cut. Don't forget welding is like super glue. So what I always advise doing because you can't undo it, once you've saved your project and closed it down, you can't then unweld. Now I can undo the weld but that's before I close Design Space down. If I close Design Space down, I cannot undo that weld. So what I always advise doing is saving it, then welding it, then cutting it. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.